coming up on Fresh Dew with Pastor Inkechi Ene. So it's okay to be grateful. It's okay to say thank you for the vessel that is an honor of the vessel. Yes, but remember, there's only one person who is worthy to receive the glory for that healing in your life. Pastor may have given a word of knowledge, but don't give the glory to Pastor. Pastor did not create that thing. The doctor helped you, arranged a transplant for you, got your kidneys fixed, got your liver fixed. Did the doctor create that kidney in the first place? Fresh Juice Kendall, the evolution of television is here. Start your week with Fresh Dew with Pastor Nkechi Ene, now airing once a week, every Monday at 9.30 p.m. West African time on Fake TV. Keep the flow of fresh inspiration and direction for your life every day, Monday to Friday, on life-changing episodes online on YouTube, Facebook, Mixler, Spotify, and Twitter. Stay updated on www.freshdew.tv for more details. Fresh Dew, bringing fresh inspiration and direction for your life. Previously on Fresh Dew. God wants his name to be glorified. The way to get out of that pit is to glorify God in the pit. The way to get out of that prison is to glorify God in the midst of the mess. But many times we do the opposite. Oh, I'm in the valley. I can't give praise now. I'm in, in, in the pits. No. Day after day. Night after night. No matter the season in your life. Truth number eight. Truth number eight. There is no other being who is called or who can rightly be called creator. There is no other being who is called and who can rightly be called creator. Truth number eight, there is no other being who is called. Have you heard of content creators, Ibiri, on your social media platform? Content creators, do they have a right to be called creators, really? A creator creates out of nothing. Do content creators create out of nothing? They don't. They take things and they make a beautiful content, but they didn't start from nothing. A manufacturer is not a creator. He creates, he produces something most times for sale, but from something. An inventor is not a creator. He comes up with an idea, but even to build that idea, it came from something. And that idea came from someone. He did not create the idea himself. It dropped from somewhere. He may not know, but he did. There's only one creator. There's only one person who has the right to be called creator. And he says he is worthy to receive glory. He's worthy to receive honor. He's worthy to receive dominion because he's the only creator. That means nobody else in your life is worthy to receive glory in the place of God. The minute you do that, you are saying that person is equivalent to the creator. There's nobody. Be grateful for people in your life. Or be grateful for the pastor who helped you come out of the mess. During the first service, a particular sister, who I once counseled with, she's not even a member of this church, somebody brought her to me, and her life really got turned around. And she's been following us since then. She lives in Canada. She was watching the first service. So she was texting this, her friend, 
who is in church. I said, oh, how she loves listening to church. Uh, I remember till today uh, how Pastor Ketch helped me. Yeah, she, she's grateful. She remembers. Some of you are here don't remember, but she, she's far away. She remembers. Some of you are forgotten, but she remembers. She remembers. But if I become God to her, then there's a problem immediately. So it's okay to be grateful. It's okay to say thank you for the vessel that is, and honor the vessel. Yes, but remember, there's only one person who is worthy to receive the glory for that healing in your life. Pastor may have given a word of knowledge, but don't give the glory to Pastor. Pastor did not create that thing. The doctor helped you, arranged a transplant for you, got your kidneys fixed, got your liver fixed. The doctor created that kidney in the first place. Even the transplanted one they gave you, the doctor will make it for you. No, even the one they say they make, they start from an atom, they start from a molecule, they start from something. A creator creates out of nothing. So that doctor will be grateful, thank God for them, but don't ever have them take the place of God in your life. There are some of us God has given families who support us. I know families that are like that in church. You've adopted another family. That's fine. As long as the adoption ends there. It doesn't become a spiritual adoption. Where they now become, you become God to them. And sometimes any that person says you follow them. And if that one now is foolish and says the wrong thing, you do you follow because they pay your children's school fees. They, this big brother you have in church. They should not become God in your life. Am I talking to somebody? So this brother, some of you hang around people like that. The ones you think are millionaires in church. And they adopt you. Become the junior family. It's okay for a while. At some point, you must grow and adopt somebody else. Then the same God is God over all, us all. Amen? If you're a music minister, don't miss your destiny because you're looking for somebody who will promote you and take you and move you there and move you there. It, at the end of the day, it is the creator behind you. And I've seen many music ministers miss God. There's all kinds of people come. I'll be your manager. I'll be your, you're, you're not moving fast enough. I'll move you. And they move you out of destiny. Move you out of purpose. And sometimes move you straight to your death. No. You must keep your focus on the one who called you. There is only one. La Vesca do Only one. There is nobody else who is worthy. Worthy to receive glory, honor, and dominion. There's only one. And that is the creator. Lift your hands to him. There's no other one. Think about it. Think about it. There's nobody else who is worthy. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Look at Psalm 121. I didn't read this in the first service. From the TPT. I look up to the mountains and hills, longing for God's help. But then I realize that our true help and protection is only from the Lord, our creator, who made the heavens and the earth. He's the only one that your help is from. There is only one creator. I said there is only one creator. Romans 1.25. Let me show you that also. Romans 1.25. Who exchanged the truth of God for the lies? Still talking about these people who have no excuse. And worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Please note those words. Everybody say truth. Say lie. Say creator. Creature. Is there a difference between truth and lie? Huh? If you're, a, if you're a mother and you're a good mother, over raising children, you've raised your light. I have amazing lie detector skills. And it came from raising my children. Because children can lie, eh? Hi. The anointing to life for some children is advanced. Some children have it higher than others. But when you raise your children, you have that lie detector. When my kids were growing up, they were convinced I had eyes at the back of my head. Because that's the only way I could know. They didn't know it was the spirit of God. Sometimes I'll come, they'll do something, it's under their bed, under the pillow. The thing is still warm. The phone is still warm. 
So I know that you are just using it now. Then so my leg will just come inside. As they hear me going, bam, 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 all the lights start going on, phone goes under the pillow, everything. I say, it's all right. It's okay. You don't know me, my eyes see inside your room. So I come inside. How are you? Mom. So did, yeah, did I wake you? They don't want to lie again. So they go, you know, it, the impression that I woke you. I just go, it's a shift. What's it, but it's a shift. What's the mommy? I say you should shift now. Mommy, but I'm sleeping. Shift. This phone is hot. <laughs> it's still hot. <laughs> that means you just put a, uh, uh, mommy, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. You knew what she did. Point is that there's a huge difference between truth and what? Lie. But we said here, they exchange the truth for a lie in that they worship and serve the creature and not the creator. Creature there is the word ketesis. Creator is ketizo. That word ketizo is used 15 times in the New Testament. It is always used with respect to God's creative ability. You don't use ketizo for anything else. If you see ketizo used, it is with respect to God's in some way or the other. The context is God's creative ability, according to Mounts, who is a Greek scholar. So, there is one creator. And the stark difference, write this down, the stark difference between the stark difference between the truth and a lie is as sacred as the difference between the creator and his creatures. The stark difference between the truth and a lie. And there's a stark difference. Truth is truth, lie is lie. It's as sacred as the difference between the creator and his creatures. In these last days, the line is not very clear anymore. But like in the Western world, what is truth, what is lie? And it's mixing up now. And you can see it mixing up with the ability to separate the creator. God made a mistake. When he made a man, he meant it to be a woman. When you take the truth and make it a lie, you cross that boundary. Or the fact there's only one infallible creator who is worthy of glory and honor. So, if creation is the will of God, and if God is worthy of all glory, then, last point, my time is gone. Last point, the will of God always brings glory, honor, and dominion to the Father. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The will of God will always bring glory, honor, and dominion to the Father. Determine that you're going to be, like we were told you in Discovering Treasures, a recipient and a channel of God's generosity. Make up your mind. Take a position that you are going to be one that gives glory, honor, and to me. Because the will of God, the will of God, when you are living in the will of God for your life, whatever that will is, if it's in your purpose, if it's in your health, if it's in your finances, in your marriage, the will of God will always bring glory, honor, and dominion to the Father. That is what you want, to make that choice. To make that choice. Some days ago, I called one of my daughters, and I'll end with this. And I called her, and she was sitting on the toilet seat in her apartment, and I noticed her face was not looking bright. You know, through, even through video call, you can tell if you're a sensitive mom. So I began to ask her, what is wrong? Sometimes I don't do that. Because what is wrong sometimes allows you to start talking. Plenty. I just began to talk. I said, whatever it is, you will choose joy. Depression is not for you. It's not in our DNA. It's not inside our blood. I began to talk. I said, whatever it is, whether it's your friends, whether it's your job, whether you're just feeling down, whether you're missing home, whatever it is, you will not allow this depression to define because this thing I've seen over you, I don't like it. And I began to talk and talk and talk life to her. And she was looking at me. When I finished, she said, thank you, mom. And she hung up. Hours later, what would be my night and her afternoon? I called her. 
and the joy wanted to break my screen. Hey, mom, I had a wonderful day. This happened at work. When she calmed down, I said, there's no correlation between the person I saw this morning. What happened? Say, mom, you never know what happened. When I woke up, I woke up and was like, everything was telling me just be depressed and sad. So they just choose it. <laughs> just advising her to just be depressed. So, you know, you know, depression can sometimes be emotional. You, 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 you caught it. It's romantic to cut depression. I'm depressed. Come out of it. It's not the will of God for you. So as she was there contemplating how she was feeling, she picked up her phone and went on Twitter. And she went on Twitter. And the first thing that popped up was a tweet that said, it has been discovered that there's something called high-functioning depression. It is for those who function highly at their jobs. They work so hard back to back that they don't really know that they are depressed. So breaking news, you're actually depressed. Even if you're not feeling it every time, that's... At that time, that is the tweet that... You think it was a mistake? Do you think it was a mistake? That thing was trying to do this with the megaphone and silence it. The question is, what was she going to do? Said so she had two options before her. One was, follow that thought, call her office, they have excellent medical care. Ambulance come and pick her up and take her to go and see a psychologist. Then they'll put a tag on her. On your depression. <laughs> one wine. <laughs> they just tag it like that. And that's it to you. Following you and be going. Or the other voice told her, call your mama. Say, mommy, I listened to the other voice. So I picked my phone and I called you. And as I called you, you began to fire. So I got up and I told myself, auntie, you will choose joy today. She advised herself. She chose joy. What happened? She listened to the megaphone. And she decided that she was going to align herself with what God says. When you align yourself with the will of God for your life, you bring glory. You bring honor. If you stay depressed, God wouldn't have gotten the glory for that day. But God got the glory and things were turned around. Lift your hands and glorify him. And make a decision to choose to choose the will of God. Choose to replicate heaven on the earth. Lift your hands and glorify him. Glorify him, please. Glorify him, please. Glorify him. Can you play something for me to hear, please? Glorify him, please. Glorify him, please. Somebody shout, glory be to God. I can't hear you. I don't know why you're whispering. Join the heavenly megaphone and shout it. Say, our God is a generous God. God is generous to me. Overflow of joy. Overflow of peace. Overflow of abundance. Overflow of wisdom. That is his will for me. I receive it. And I bring glory to God. Overflow of healing in my body. Glory be to God. 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 All power. All glory. All honor. All dominion. Be unto our God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. 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 God's glory is manifest in this place. Glory be to God. Oh yeah, I can hear the heavenly megaphone. It's manifest, it's shouting. It's blaring. Uh -huh. It's blaring his generosity over your life. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Who is that person with the pain? 
and it's right here just right here very strong pain are you here are you watching me you are here put your hand there just put it right there put it right there i command it whatever it is i command it you hear the heavenly megaphone that's it you are healed in the name of jesus and that pain disappears completely if you couldn't bend down bend down whatever you could not do do it bend down and touch your toes you are healed completely that hernia whatever it is it's gone in the name of jesus glory be to god glory be to god somebody with a sore in their nipple that is high the sore in your nipple is there a hand that is up are you here or are you watching a sore in your nipple if you are watching put your hand on your breast whatever it is that caused that sore it's gone in the name of jesus completely dried up that's it in the name of jesus somebody shall glory be to god somebody shall glory be to god who is the one with constipation a constipation that has lasted for a while a constipation that has lasted for a while you've not been able to go if you're here or you're online you're here or you're online it's gone in the name of jesus whatever is causing it you've tried everything to cause that thing to break and it's not broken well it's broken now it's broken now it's broken now from the root in the name of Jesus Christ somebody say glory be to God somebody say glory be to God there's an immune disorder that is being reversed I don't know what that means it's an immune disorder if it's not you and it's somebody you know if you're online there is no distance is that hand up yeah wave it completely God said to tell you it's been reversed whatever it is that is not balanced it is reversed back to normal perfect readings perfect figures it's done it's done by the healing of our generous father in the name of Jesus somebody else has been experiencing symptoms of weakness you just find yourself weakened just general body weakness where is that person where is the person lift up your hand if you're the one yeah 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 Pastor Tayo please go and lay hands on that person and as hands are laid on you you receive strength God said to tell you supernatural strength supernatural strength there are more of you put your hand on your head for that person over there put your hand on your head yes I command strength supernatural strength to be infused throughout your body whatever is the cause of that weakness whatever it is we command it to be reset right from the root in the name of Jesus strengthen your bones strengthen your muscles strengthen every part of your body in the name of Jesus Christ glory be to God glory be to God Glory be to God. I cannot hear you shout, Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God said to tell someone that that scholarship has been granted. Somebody applied for a scholarship. I don't know who you are. You're probably watching also online. God said to tell you that scholarship has been granted. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands and worship him. Worship him. That is the glory of God. 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 Glory, that is the glory of God. I said that is the glory of God. I said that is the glory of God. It is the glory of God. It is the glory of God. It is the glory of God. Amen. Someone is going to testify of a job. It's not just an ordinary job. What will be miraculous about this job? It's not just that the job is miraculous, but the way in which you get this job will be very miraculous and very unusual. 
it, it will literally like take you by surprise. Very miraculous and very unusual. Very miraculous. Glory be to God. Can we join the heavenly megaphone and announce? Glory be to God. Glory be to our God. Glory be to God. We give you praise, our Father. We love you so much. We love you for your goodness. You are creator. There is no God like you. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And all of God's people shouted hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Can we bow our heads, please? Let's bow our heads, please. You're here today. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You heard Romans chapter 1. There is no excuse. You know there is a God. Even if you've not heard the gospel before today, the heavens have told you. Creation has witnessed to you that there is a God. Today you can meet that God. You can make him Lord and Savior. You can put aside the fatuous argumentations. And you can come humble before the one who created you. The only one who is worthy to be called creator. Lift up your hand if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you're here in church, you're watching online, you're watching online, you're here, put your hand on your chest, today if you're watching online, and say this prayer after me. Say, oh God, is somebody over there? I can't see the person. Oh, can you please... Lift your hand up then. Stand up, please. God bless you. God bless you. There are two people over there. Anybody else wants to accept Jesus? I almost missed that. Any other person? Somebody else? Okay, pick up your Bible. Pick up your notebook. Whatever you came with, bring it with you. And come to the front. Those of you online as well, get ready to pray the prayer along with these wonderful young men. Glory be to God. Come this way. You're making the best decision of your life. One you will never regret. Amen. And why is the church quiet? Say hallelujah. To celebrate. Two more people coming to the family of God. Glory be to God. Amen. Lift up both hands. In surrender to the creator. And say after me. Say oh God. Online do the same thing. Oh God. Have mercy on me. I believe. That Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that He died and He rose again just for me to save me. Jesus, save me now. Make me a new person. Today, I am born again. I belong to you forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Can you come up to me, please? I want to lay hands on you. Father, thank you for each one of these young men. Oh, glory be to your name. Thank you for they will flourish. They will prosper in this new faith that they have come to. Lord, they will never turn back from this decision, but you will send people to cause them to grow and grow in you in the name of Jesus. And those online as well, the same prayer applies to them. They will grow and they will prosper in their new faith. In the name of Jesus. And the church shouted, hallelujah. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Can you turn around, follow them. Can you welcome them, please? 